Hi, I am Vladimir Yakovlev, the head coach of the Magic Wind Traveling Windsurfing School, which organizes windsurf camps around the world. Today we talk about planing, how to quickly and easily pick up the speed on your board. Once you have learned how to use the harness, you can try to accelerate faster. In order to get planing, you need enough wind power in your sail. If you have a small sail and wind is not strong enough, you can use a wider board. The wider the board, the less power it needs to start planing. To get planing, you will need 1. Sheeting in Turn your board slightly downwind, 15 to 20 degrees from the half-wind course. Sheet in harder. Before adding power to the sail, you should get lower. Just open the sail slightly and you can easily lower the body without much effort. Then immediately sheet in harder. If you feel that your sail starts lifting you, do it again. Open the sail again, drop even lower and sheet in, but this time stay lower than the previous time. If it's hard for you to get low enough and you try pulling the sail with your butt, you're doing it wrong. Let's look at what your feet are doing at this moment. 2. Positioning your feet on the board Initially, while you're sailing slowly and the sail is not pulling, your front foot is close to the mast foot, pointing at the nose of the board. The back foot is shoulder width apart or slightly wider. As the thrust in your sail increases, your feet must shift back towards the foot straps in proportion with the acceleration, keeping the distance between them. Pressure distribution on the board The main job of your front foot is to push the board forward using the power in the sail. If you feel that you no longer have the strength to keep pushing with your front foot and sheeting in becomes very difficult, you should step back a little more towards the stern. But if you move too far to the back and there is not enough power in the sail, then the board will start turning into the wind due to excessive weight on the stern. During acceleration, balance the pressure between the mast foot and your feet so that the nose of the board does not rise up much and at the same time does not dig into the water. This will ensure the most efficient acceleration. This balance is often disrupted for various reasons, but most commonly it is disrupted during wind dips. 4. Working with wind dips Feeling the lack of wind, we immediately pull the sail towards us with our back hand while pushing the mast away with our front hand, trying to sheet in more. If you still don't get enough power, move the body forward by bending the front knee and lean with your hands and harness on the boom to load the mast foot more. Keep in mind that you should not remain in this position for a long time. When the gust comes after a couple of seconds, you should take the usual stance again, straightening your front leg and hanging on the sail. Even if the gust does not come, you still need to take the proper riding stance, but position your body more vertically above the board. This principle works on all stages of acceleration, and when your feet are in foot straps, planing or not. Steering your board while planing, the board is controlled by pressing on the left or right rail of the board with your feet. If during planing you try to steer the board by tilting the sail, this will disrupt the balance and control of the board, which may cause you to fall or be catapulted. Therefore, when accelerating, try not to tilt the sail too much towards the bow or the stern. Do you want to learn proper windsurfing? Going fast, turning and jumping? Watch our tutorial videos, like and subscribe to our channel and come to the professional windsurfing school Magic Wind. Enjoy your ride! Bye!